Okay, so the first command we're going to learn is we're going to learn how to do that ls command. Uh, it's list. Uh, it literally will list anything in that file uh, or that folder. Uh, it's called ls because the first letter is L and the third is S. So that's what it's called ls. So going into our Kali terminal here, uh, Kali machine here we're going to open a browser and we're going to go to Google inside Google uh, we are going to search for file type uh, with PDF and the type of file is let's just look up uh, budgets and what we're going to do is going to pull out um, some searches with PDF file. So here's the budget for U.S. government. Learning about budgets, general record schedule for budgets, and these these are all PDF file. And what we're going to do is we're going to download it. Download one there. We're going to download this one here. And we're going to download another one here. So we have three files that we have downloaded. And we can also create a Also going to create a uh, text file, and uh, in our applications, we're going to type in text, and there's a text editor here. Inside this text editor, we're going to just call this is a test, and we are going to file. We're going to save as, and we're going to put that on in the desktop, and the name will be test file and we're going to go ahead and save it it's not there because we're actually not in our desktop which is here in our Kali machine so it's listed there if we we look at the test file file save as we're going to go to the desktop here and call that test file and we should see it populated there this one was uh, on a diff uh, the first one we saved is on the desktop which we can delete that one actually not that one but we can do file save as again and we're going to put it on the desktop and we're going to call it test file Now that's saved there. So with the ls command, we need to be in the terminal, which is black square box up here. And inside this terminal, we are going to learn the ls command. So if we list L ls right now, it's going to show desktop, downloads, template, all that. If we just open a folder, what it really did is here we are at the home directory. Inside the home directory, we have desktop, down, documents, download, pictures. Everything here is the same. To change directory is going to be CD, but we're going to change into the download file because we are currently on the home and we want to go to the downloads so we're going to cd which is change directory into downloads and now as you can see we are in the downloads file uh, folder now and we run the ls command right now you see we have those three pdf that we downloaded if we just go to the downloads over here and there's those three budget cfp b and uh, grs so essentially ls is to list these three file 
but you have to be in the downloads file uh, folder as here so that's the ls command uh, we can also there's also options to it that uh, will operators that you can add on to it so we do ls um, if we do man stand for manual man ls this here is going to be the options that you can add on to it Uh, you can do a dash A to list everything, dash capital A to list al uh, almost all, and all these other operators or options that you can add to it. D, G, S. Uh, we're going to stick with a few of them. So here it says uh, press H for help or Q for quit. We're going to hit Q to quit. So the first ls command we're going to do is going to be call l dash l and dash l uh, it lists the permission rights for this specific user that's in the Pacific group and this is how big the file is and this is the date and this is the actual file for the budget uh, FY 2024 um, PDF file it has only read and write access uh, permissions and is owned by Kali and Kali is in the group of Kali so the user Kali is a uh, the owner of it and is part of the group of Kali and that's file we could right click here the budget file and go properties you can see it says the same thing the access just read and write the group is called Cali access is going to be read only which you can see here uh, this is user this is the group and this is everyone else so everyone else can only read that's why it says here for the group which is these three right here the dash R and the dash here is the group only has react re only and the next three over here is all others can only read but Kali the owner has the read and write permissions that's why you see R and W on the first three so it's gonna be owner it's gonna be group and it's gonna be everyone else but if we change this uh, read read uh, for the group if we change the group to read and write and then close this and we do a LSL again to list everything you can see the permission has changed here to read and write as before it didn't have it so essentially ls dash l so we can do the word doc here essentially ls dash l will list all the permissions how big the file is for this specific file and you can change it in here on the properties permission or you could change it in here but we're just learning the ls command uh, the next ls command will be ls dash a and let's see what the ls dash a do ls dash a and you can see it lists three files that are in there and the dash a is show anything that is hidden these two Pacific dot means uh, you can go back once so you can go back uh, you can go you can go back into this file so uh, means that you, in this download you stay in this download folder and these two dot is to go back two directories so it's to go back once it's to go back once which is Kali and also to home.
and that's all there is on the LSSA if we go file open a new tab and we do LS uh, we do man LS you see the dash A which says list all do not ignore entry starting with so it's everything that is going to be listed uh, the next command that we are going to be working on be working on will be the LST so LST dash T and if we look at the didn't show you guys here but it's gonna be ls dash t and with ls dash t and let's search through this here to see what ls dash t shows and the ls dash dash t shows sort by time newest first so if we go into the first tab here and we do ls dash t and we're still in the downloads folder it listed this first because it was the one that we're currently working on now so for instance if we open this one here uh, the second one and we try that ls dash t again essentially it should be Since you should look at the one that was last modified. I don't know. Let's see. We can't save here because we didn't do nothing. But if we can just view this as a list. Date last modified is today. So all these going to be sort of the same. We go back to the help on the second tab here. Uh, that's all is for the T. Uh, we can move on to the next one, which is going to be uh, R, but I think that it's all going since everything is down at the same time. We do LS R. Uh, everything's the same because these files got downloaded at the same time, so it's not like yesterday or today. Uh, we also got the ls ls h and with the ls h ls h stands for human readable so we can as human read it so ls h if I hit enter It's going to show human readable. Uh, let's do ls dash dash a and also h. So you can see it lists everything plus these dots file. We actually want to look at the file size too. So if we do ls dash all human rebo with the H and L for the long list you can see the dots you can see the re the permission and since this has gone the wording has gone overboard it came across over here so there's a three file one two three this is how big it is it's about 200 megabits uh, we got uh, kilobits here and kilobits here so you can tell that this 2.3 is a bigger file than these other two uh, there's also another command and this next command is the ls-d and it's the list directory themselves rather than the content so ls dash d and it actually just listed 
the directory, which is the dot only, which is, like I said, itself, which is the download folder itself. And these are a few commands to help start with the ls command to list what's in the di directory. Uh, for instance, we go to the desktop and there's a test file. So we cd change directory to the uh, desktop. We actually need to cd back two dots. So we, we're not going to be in the download. We're going to go back one more, which is the home directory which is this little squiggly line. And then if we do ls here, you can see that the test file is here. So we went out of this and went to the desktop and it only has one file. And you can see we only have one file here. These are just shortcuts. The home file system and trash shortcuts. But let's just do ls-a to show all. And these are all the hidden stuff that's on this desktop that are running. Uh, it's with the dot. Those are the ones that are hidden on the desktop. Well, hidden within video, hidden within public, hidden within templates. So if we just do ls only, it lists everything here, but let's see how big the file is for test file. So to show how big stuff are, we're going to do ls-l to have uh, more information on on the documents. As you can see, these are the uh, these are the directories that are listed here. But since we're on the desktop, the desktop has the test file. It has 15 uh, kilobits because inside it, if we open that file, I wrote this is a test. Now we just delete that information and do a file save. And we can close out that. And we do lsl again. Still 15. So that little bit of uh, wording that sentence put in there did not affect how big the file is. But if we open that file again and go to the downloads, open one of these PDF, and we will to copy these words here right click we want to copy it and we want to put that into the text file this is everything we copy and we're going to do a file so, oh, not save as but we do a file and save close out this and the PDF and go back here now we do ls l now the test file to show 15 so it didn't really affect much as far as the wording in there so basic commands that you can yeah, need to know is ls ls l ls a ls t ls dash h and d to kind of get you started to look into uh, directories or folders